Jeff in Asheville, North Carolina writes to me. He says, I see $5,000, $10,000 preamps and integrated amps using a $10 Alps pot. Now, some manufacturers proudly tout this pot, while others, Air, PS Audio, Conrad Johnson, Shit even, Shit Audio, don't, don't get me in trouble now, it's, it's the name of a company, uh, have much more expensive relay and stepped attenuation and electronic circuits. A am I being an audiophile snob? Why no? <laughs> by being turned off by spending my hard-earned money for expensive gear filled with cheap parts? Would something like a cheap volume pot be a deciding factor if you were to spend thousands on audio equipment, regardless of how it sounds? Well, that's a really good question. And you know, Jeff, we for many, many years used, we actually used Noble, but Alps, Noble, same sort of thing. It's just, you know, pick, pick, your, pick your flavor. They are great sounding pots. Alps also makes motorized pots, so they have a great sounding pot, and they'll put a motor on it, and you can use that with your remote control. And yeah, they cost us, I don't know, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, whatever it is. I think they even have one that's like $20. So would I choose or not choose? No, absolutely. I would not feel bad about buying a preamp with an Alps, with a $10 Alps pot and paying $10,000 for it. Not at all, because it's a great sounding pot. Now we moved away from them because we have what we consider a better sounding solution than the Alps pot or the Noble pot because pots, resistors, capacitors, all these parts have a sound to them. And my friend Bill Lowe of AudioQuest likes to say, well, none of them actually have a sound to them. What they what we can say is that all of them aren't perfect and they leave out some of this and some of that. So imagine you had a perfect flavor. I don't know, pick something, whatever it is, vanilla. Uh, and this is the perfect example of the flavor vanilla. Now, if I start pulling away molecule by molecule, certain parts of that vanilla, it's going to taste a little different. And the less pure the vanilla is, there will be a difference in taste. And you can relate that to the way things sound. There is no such thing as a straight wire with gain. An old saying that we used to use, which would be the perfect amplifier, right? Just a straight wire. And because of that, resistors, capacitors, transistors, all of that, they all leave something to be desired, that none of them perfectly pass signal. And it's that imperfection that we hear. And that's what gives something its sound, if you will. So again, we got away from pots. Other people uh, try different techniques, stepped attenuators, photo resistors. I mean, the volume control in preamps is one of the bigger hurdles that one as a designer has to get around because it isn't insignificant how it sounds. And pots, just as an aside, without getting too carried away, they sound different at different levels, right? One of the things I always recommend to people when they set up gains with their system, make sure that when at your normal loud listening level, you know, when you're playing something that you, not, not background music, but at a normal listening level, that you're at about two o'clock, three o'clock on the pot, if you have a pot, because in that area is where it's gonna sound best. Down here in the lower areas, you're starting to lose sound quality. And, and so we tell people, if you're, gonna have, if you're gonna use a pot, stay up here in say the two or three o'clock area. So just adjust your gains uh, for that. You don't wanna be down, way down in here because you're not getting the full benefits of how good the pot can sound. So no, I would not hesitate to buy a product with an Alps or a Noble pot in it, regardless of what it cost. So, hope that helps. Thanks, Jeff.